and I'm live. Hello to whoever it is that's on here, and I fully expect more to show up. But for now, I'm going to get started on my awesome little Zelena mini. Uh, she's a longtime character of mine that I played. Oh, she was my first character in World of Warcraft, and I still play her as my main when I have time. And um, I made her a Pathfinder character, so I need a mini for her. So, first thing I do in every mini is start with the eyes. Because you know what? They're the biggest pain in the necks, everyone will agree. And I learned a new way to do eyes. So let's see. Da -da -da -da. First I'm going to take some... Is this the right color? Yeah. I'm going to take some polished bone. Which, as I used to use bleach linen, but I was told polished bone is probably a better color to use for the whites of the eyes. So, I'm going to go with it. I'm not going to argue with a uh, world-renowned painter and, and such. Uh, I agree with it. So. I'm not going to quite do it the way he had it, because he painted the face and everything first, and then he did the outline. He basically painted everything dark. I still find it easier if I paint the whites first and then put the highlight, uh, the line around it for her uh, outline the eye with the eyeliner. Although this eye is going to be very much hidden. <laughs> the one on her left and my right. everything quite set up where you're with you. There we go. So, Zelly being a night elf, I'm going to go with the, even though on the Hero Forge mini, I did paint her, I did make her with Caucasian skin, you know, fair skin, but I think I'm going to go with the more dusky purple that she actually is. So I'm going to do the eyeliner next. And if I can get out of the bottle. Alright. So I'm doing this, what is it, Sagathi purple. You know what, it's a little quite the right color I want. Um, I think I'm going to add a little... Where's my black? Black. I'm going to add a little black to it. Because it's a little too right in my estimation. Although, boy, a little bit of black goes a very long way. There we go. Actually, I want... Mm, I want my... Not that one. Sorry, while I find my brush that I want to use... Yes, Reaper, I really love this brush holder, but the brushes keep moving around. I don't think that. I don't want the 20 out one. That's too thin. There is such a thing as too thin because it basically won't, the paint will just dry out way too fast. All right, so I'm going to paint. Like I said, I'm changing the steps a little bit here. Because usually I would paint the, um, I would do this after I paint the pupil, but. That's her eye is kind of hiding. So I'm going to paint an eye on her face. I'm 
the other eye is very much hiding. Because it's half under her hair. It's really hard to tell where this eye is. The one on the right, or my right, her left. I think that's correct. I'm gonna kinda kill this top it's just more or less for me to figure out where I'm going to put things. I'm not... I'm not really thrilled about this. You know, I said I made this sculpt. I think there's an angle. Not positive, but I think there is an angle on the eyes. I can definitely see the inside of her nose. All right, good enough. So she's kind of looking this way. So I'm thinking I'm going to put her eyes towards this side of her head. I'm not going to put it directly on. them both. In the corners here. Take out let that dry. I'm gonna go back to my eyeliner color. And go over the top of that. Let's see, and now I go let that dry set, which won't take long. And I'm gonna get some pure white. Because I'm gonna do a little highlight in her eye which I think adds a lot to it. Maybe if they're a little bigger, a lot of times minis aren't. I would actually try, I would, I'm tempted to do the color in it, but I think, I think it's a little small. If I do that, I'm gonna try it on something larger. All right, let's see if I can dot an eye in here. I just wanna put a little bit of Just a tiny little bit. It's a problem that dries up real fast on these small brushes. Pretty good. I'm gonna go get a little more black. Sad. As I said, I want to keep that little white dot very tiny. That's pretty good. 
So now for skin tones, I said, I want to go for more, I'm going for more night oven purplish skin tones. So I'm going with, I did see something, I know I have it on here somewhere. I could even go with like drow skin, because let's face it, night elves are kind of, are like, um, they are the well equivalent of drow. Oh, I know where it is, it's not in here. Oh, I gotta look it up. I was actually going to look up my Drow Nipple Pink because I'm thinking Drow Nipple Pink is actually like purple. Ooh, that actually is a... I found it. These colors actually go really well together. One is Drow Nipple Pink, which is a special color that you could just get a con conventions or reaper cons for years you'd have to go ask Anne Forrester about draw nipples and then wild folk gray which came from this year's oh, I'm in the wrong spot here let's try flipping these around there we go so I think those look very good together I may actually add a little flesh tone, a little you know, uh, fair skin to this too, when I get to the highlight. Actually, these make a very good triad. So this is just the shadow. So I'm going to cover her face with this. <laughs> Out of all things, draw nipple pink. Hello to whoever just joined us. Finally finding something to use this color on. I think it's for, it's not pink. I'm just gonna Gotta paint all the stuff. So it's a pretty good color. It's a pretty, pretty strong color. I actually probably can use that to even go around my eyes. Mr. Brendan, that's who popped, one of the people popped in. Now some people are popping in. I see there's three. Ha, ha, ha. Hey, as I said, did you, did you catch what color I was using, Mr. Brandon? It's the one with the best name. And I believe it was originally created as a joke. It's called Drow Nipple Pink. Of course, my, own, my biggest problem with this color is the fact that it's not very, it's not really pink at all, but it's purple. Which is not really a problem, actually, because it's me. Is that her ear? Oh, her ear's being hidden by the hair. Okay, so that is, I think, an antler. Is it? 
hard to tell. No, her antlers only go up. That is her ear. Her ear is kind of... So, night elves have floppy ears. So, I picked, like, fawn ears instead of... Um, I picked different ears than just the standard uh, ears you get with... Um, Elven ears you get with Hero Forge. Oh, there's a thing in the back. Yeah. Broke that off easy enough. Yeah, so basically, this is a color that you could only get at ReaperCon, but now you can buy it. It's in one of the sets. Um, but it's really called Drow Nipple Pink. And this set, I believe it was done as a joke. I'm doing, I love how I show everything upside down and stream. Ah! That is her ear. That is really strange. It ended up in that location, but that's okay. I'll, I'll, it is her ear. And Brendan, did you say, said, look what I learned in class. I learned how to do eyes that look like this, which I'm really happy with. Well, I mean, they later created, oh, that's well, folk. I have a drow skin tone. This is, this is regular drow skin. So, I mean, it is darker than the skin, but, um, uh, but the thing of, yeah, the, but the thing of it is, I'm going to I'm going to forever forget which way this camera goes. Uh, so I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but the drowned nipple was pink was created years and years and years ago. And the only way you used to be able to get it is you had to go to Ann Forrester, who was the, made their, all their paints at ReaperCon and ask her about drow nipples and then you get a bottle of it and probably a ribbon because there were so many ribbons at this it wasn't even funny all right i'm going to switch brushes here she's got quite a bit of skin showing so how's things uh brendan i mean i miss gaming with you are you doing anything for uh gen con like in a virtual sense because it's Gen Con week. That's where everybody, no, I didn't think it. No, no, a lot of people, I don't know anybody who went this year. Are you on running three? Yay. Very cool. I wonder if DJ actually knew. Oh, you should, I don't know if you told DJ that you were doing that. Maybe you would have played. We were said, yes, you know, we were going to go. I knew exactly who that is. That's a Gareth! I know. I miss gaming with you. You were, uh, I, you know, I said, you know, we did. We actually did play, because you started Rise of the Rune Lords with us. And then that game kind of ended. Well, we did end up playing. Oh, he's not here for me to tell, though. <laughs> So hi Gareth. Here I'm be like I'm like terrible right now. Oh shoot! I'm also dropping paints and things like that. I'm gonna do a little shot up because I keep forgetting to do these. So here is my goblin buddy. So yeah, the last time I gamed with you, we were playing Rise of the Rune Lords, and the game abruptly ended. I'm going to pick out, that's one of those support things too. And, uh, what was I going to say? Actually, get, hmm. No, you know what it is? No, I'm thinking your stream. So I should be getting a payout. I know I interrupt that story like twice. Uh, Oh yeah, so in the last, yeah, I'll tell you, I'll start with this, and then I'll go to what I was just thinking. Uh, so yeah, the last time, so we ended up, uh, we ended up, we ended up playing through that entire AP, by the way. Um, I brought the same character, and she kicked butt, except for once. It was a rolling TPK, everybody died in it once. 
So it was a really well. We had we had David Montgomery as our GM, and he is a terrific, terrific. He's one of the best GMs I know. So it was a fantastic AP. I remember the Shadow Room. <laughs> we did much. We did much better the second time around. In that room with all the fucking shadows that almost killed you. Timothy Tall. Uh, so, yeah, I, so I was going to say, Gareth, was this. I was going to subscribe to you. Who knows when? Maybe. Oh, hang on a sec. So, one of the things I want to do when I get a payout is I want to take some of the money from that 100 bucks, set aside, and basically subscribe to a couple to, to, to a couple of um, streamers. And you were one of the ones I was thinking because you're always on here and you support me and you you sub uh, to me and I was just thinking wait somebody gifted you a sub no it wasn't that somebody gifted you a sub someone gifted me a sub Michelle gifted me a sub for your stream and now I can't now I can't actually buy my own sub for your stream for a month but that may work out I have no idea when I'm getting paid, if I'm getting paid, if, if it really is true. But according to, according to my stats since the uh, time I went affiliate, that there's a hundred bucks in there. So, so thanks to everybody for that. I appreciate it. Of course, I'm gonna show my appreciation after a year, and you'll be able to when I paint you a mini. Let's see, let's see. Brandon says, I remember wanting to pull that monkey tail in the wall, whatever it was. I re oh, I don't remember what the hell that was. It was something, but now I don't remember what it was. Hi, Valfara. It's nice to see you. How are you doing this night? I'm trying to remember if the other group did. I keep thinking we did, and it wasn't anything huge, but I don't remember at this point. I probably have to ask Joe whether or not we pulled it in the other game. But it was a really fun, fun AP, you know. Watching resin cure and plastic melt. Oh boy. By the way, don't forget if you are talking to you about fairy, because I know you oftentimes have something to share. If you got something to share, go ahead and link it because I'm link friendly. And I love to see everyone else's work. Oftentimes I find it really does get me to pick up a brush and go work on stuff. So she is not, but so anyways, I know she looks really purple right now and very dark, but that is not where she's going to end up. some point I keep thinking I should grab my optivizers because I can see a little better with them and check out her eyes and whether or not I'm happy with that I can paint it later the positioning of my outline but I really dig this color oh Val Fair, you would totally appreciate it I, the color that I'm base coating her in is drowned nipple pink Oh, if you didn't forget, I brought you prints going about the resin printer and the FDM printer. All right. Oh, I see that, Gareth. Because, of course, Pete the Hydrator isn't around. Did I see the final spinning? No, I don't think I did. Is that the one that you had the, the blue jeans? Uh, I don't think I ever saw that finished. So if you get a link to the finished version of that, if you can show it off, because I remember that was for a Kickstarter. But, uh, so 
So, and what are you printing on your resin printer? And what are you printing on your printers? Set off the silly thing. I really hate when notifications pop up on my computer. Go away. <laughs> I said, actually, you really dig draw nipple pink. That is a good, that's a really good color. I really like it. Other than the name being really cool. Let's see, okay, it was Bob Provason with the extra bit of Bella Knox that painted oils behind her. Alright, let's check this out. I'm so excited. <gasps> oh, and you even did it so it spins. No, I can't. Alright, hang on. I'm but I'm gonna share with the class here. Oh, you can't, you still can't show the whole thing. Oh, can't, you, oh, wait, well, I kind of see. Oh, there we go. Oh, she came out good. And by the way, she reminds me. <laughs> She's got Zelly. This is Zelena. All right, this is my longtime WoW character and um, new Pathfinder character. I'm actually painting this because I realize I'm going to have a convention at the very beginning of November. So I actually need to paint the mini for her. In case I play her in a game, I'm not 100% sure I'm playing her, but what I'm playing, what I'm doing, a great tramp stamp in the back. I love all the little details in the pocket, by the way. But Zelly hair, she's got Zelly had purple hair, much on this like th this hairdo. So that friggin' rocks. And the jeans look like they look like jeans. That is amazing. All right, back to the, the mini. Whoops, wrong one. <laughs> I went to shut off the mini cam. Don't do that. Can't do. I need to take some good pics, but you just walk through blood. Oh, cool. So, like I said I recently backed White Werewolf Tavern. Uh, Studios for some STL files and color printing. Oh, cool. Can't wait to see the result of those. I think I need to go back into the eyes. I, I am pretty sure that this little dink here don't belong. And I will go back over it. But she did said that is a really you did an awesome job, Valfara. That's really cool. There we go. That looks better. That looks better. I'm happier with that. I'm not definitely not perfect. <laughs> I make mistakes all the time. Oh, and it looks like I missed a spot right there. This once again is basically a tabletop mini. It's for um and I'll go around, I'll just pick out stuff and paint over it, it's fine. See if there's any more. Yep, I had a feeling I was missing a spot on her face. Let's see if I can get in there. But I said this is this is basically another mini for myself. Oh, your bra oh M Peacecraft is Brasha. Hi Brasha. Okay. Well, Brasha. Brasha is one of my uh, text good hero friends. 
uh, from our little Starfinder podcast. And I have so much fun. Although we were we were supposed to record tonight, and we spent half the night divvying up loot and said, "Screw it." We just had a really big fight. It was like a three three episode fight, so it was a long fight. And I think episodes are about two hours long. So next time we will record our next session. But that's fine. He's got plenty in the can to uh, to deal with. Oh my lord. Resident Printer is printing the base of all called Bitch Stabbing Samurai. Alright, no, I'm totally, I've got to see this. Now, is she stabbing a bitch or is she the bitch that's doing the stabbing? Because she looks tough. I'm definitely showing this off. By the way, I use that term. I use bitch as a term of endearment. Uh, I usually like to think it's a tough lady. A badass lady. Hell, I call myself that. But that is incredible. So, is it, now is it just the bottom part of the base down here? Or does that include the whole dragon and everything as part of the base? I imagine, too, if that includes the dragon, that is going to be a very long print. So you're going to be sitting there a long time looking for watching that thing go. That is freaking cool. Dragon is down on the rocks. Oh, it's the rocks feet. How, um, how big is this mini, by the way? Because I'm getting the feeling it's not a 28 millimeter mini. That is really flipping cool. There we go. Oh my god, I'm a sight. I can't, I keep hitting the wrong friggin' buttons tonight. I love it. I, lo I love the attitude, too. She's got attitude, and that's the way I like my ladies. Real, the, the ones I like, I love ones that look tough and said I'm badass. The dragon is in like five pieces for the body and had not kind of part around the base. Ooh. It's a lot of pieces. Well, it makes sense, though. And actually, I guess if you, you print it in pieces, it probably makes it a little more manageable. I would think. I'm going to go on to starting to paint the lighter parts of her skin now. So I catch everything but the deepest shadows. Also may want to go to a smaller brush for this. I'll say that again. That's a really cool piece. I really like that. I said I love that piece. I like to paint. I do prefer to paint things that are small. They're like this size, which is 28 uh, 28 millimeter heroic. I do have a couple of busts. Um, obviously, I have the Angelica Fairweather one from ReaperCon, and I've got an HP Lovecraft one I started last year and never have had time to finish it. I'm going to assume she would be about 110 scales so around 100. Wow, that's tall. 180 centimeters tall. If you click on the arrow, the link will take you to the part breakdown. That's freaking good size. 
I have to like translate what what the centimeters to inches is. It's funny. You think I would just I would kind of know because I measurements are a big thing in my line of work. Most everything I do is in imperial, so it's all inches. Yeah, I definitely want to lighten her up. I do not want her to be this this purple. Here we got. Let's see, seven inches tall. Okay, not more with the base. Seven, eight. so not quite the height of um, uh, Maldricar, aka Tianot. However you want to refer to it. Good thing about a resin printer, I could print to her that small and glue her together. Oh, like you, yeah, you can't, you can scale down files, right? Now, don't mind me asking. I don't, I don't have a 3D printer, so I really don't know. But if you wanted to make that smaller, right, you could scale it down, couldn't you? Yeah, up and down. Okay, that makes, I mean, that makes sense. As long as you keep everything in proportion, down is better. Oh, yeah, that, well, I mean, if resolution, I know it's not a photograph. But, like, you know, if I'm, you know, if I'm doing, like, a photograph, if resolution matters, in this case, down is always better. If it's, okay, so let's say, so this has nothing to do with that. And I'm probably talking my hat here, but. When it's like um, a photograph in Photoshop, you always want to go down in terms of size it down because, oh God, how do I explain it? Oh, it's to do with, you know, how many dots per inch it is. So if you scale it down, you can get, and you leave the dot, basically you leave you have even the dots the same per inch, but let's say you keep the same number of dots and you scale it down, then you have more dots per inch because it's smaller. If you go bigger, then your little squares get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Ah, so it is. Oh, it is. Oh, yeah. If it's pixels, then yeah. If you go bigger, then those pixels, which are little squares, in case anybody doesn't do this, um, doesn't know what we're talking about. And trust me, I, and believe me. Don't feel bad if you don't, because I know plenty of people who supposedly are designers who send me stuff that don't understand this. So don't don't feel bad. Um, but basically, you know, pixels are all little squares. And if you make it bigger, your squares get bigger, and then you can start seeing the little squares, which you don't want. You want everything to be smooth, so you want more squares. Problem is, is that once you get like those squares set and you make it bigger, you can't just add more squares because it just divides those squares. But the colors stay the same. So a color of that, a color block that was like one square, well, if you make it bigger and you add more dots, if you add, try to add more dots, it still ends up being, you'll, God, it's hard to explain. <laughs> just do it. Basically, that one square will now become four squares, but it'll still be four squares of the same color. Yeah, a two, like 2K screen, but still. By the, by the way, the other thing is too, um, like especially if you've got like a, a digital camera and such, you know, some of them have ridiculous resolution. Well, don't buy a camera for that reason, because honestly, all you really need, if you're taking pictures, uh, if you're gonna, you just need like the resolution that works with your printer. You know, I don't know, I forget, I don't know what it is. I, I remember back in the old days, it was like 300. <laughs> um, but I don't know what it is now. I know like, I know cameras can go way high. Now, if you're gonna print posters, then yeah, you need something with a real high resolution but otherwise if you're just gonna take and print you know prints on a printer that are picture size you know five by seven or i'm trying to remember what the original size was it's been a long time since i printed any pictures 
The FDM imprint is printing a test print of this at 100% where I've modified it to be hollow so I can... Ooh! Run wiring and light it. All right, let's check it out. Oh! <laughs> a chandelier of fear. Is this a mimic? Supposed to be a mimic? It's very cool, though. So, how big is that? Can you actually, could you actually, see now in this case, I'd almost be tempted to blow it up and make it chandelier sized. That will be so cool lit up. If you're lighting all the little candles. Oh my God, that's cool. Oh man. I want a full size one to hang up during Halloween. Oh, I want to know if anybody out there, I've noticed this. There are people in my town that have already started decorating for Halloween. I wonder if anybody else has seen this. Can't September get a month? <laughs> Can't September, you know? Can we get set through September 1st? Honestly, I get it. A lot of people love Halloween. I love Halloween. I actually really do love Halloween. But I feel like this is just a little too early to decorate. Oh, she's got a little, she's got a little side boob here. Way too soon. Yeah, I noticed too. Although the candles are 143 millimeters tall. So that's 1.43 centimeters tall. Okay. Okay, so it's not that big. But, uh, I know I keep, I keep going, geez, you know, maybe I should decorate. Nah, I'm not going to decorate yet. I'm also trying to debate what I want to do in this room because now I've got this room. It's my office. And do I want to decorate it for Halloween? Do I want to get a Christmas tree for Christmas? Because <laughs> I need another Christmas tree. I mean, it was like 80 degrees. I don't feel very Halloweenish right now. You know. Although, we got spared. Actually, I don't know, Brenda. Did you get uh, any thunderstorms your way? Because I know DJ got hit tonight. But they all fell apart before they got to my house. Which was cool. No thunderstorms there. Oh, that's good. Too soon to decorate, but not too soon to print. Yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm not. No. If you're making stuff for Halloween, you need to be making it now. Especially if you want to put it up this year. Although, folks, I have plans. <laughs> so, um, if anybody, I was going to say, anybody who follows me on Twitter... I've been doing I've been doing a challenge where I'm trying to paint a mini a day, which I can't wait till February second. Stop doing this and basically do it as a hobby streak instead, because I want to do bigger things. But I'm doing a lot of pirate things because it is it is talk like a pirate days this month, so it's like pirate month. But for next month, what I want to do on this stream is I want to do the obsidian crypt. Uh, anybody else, anybody who follows me on Twitter will know that earlier this year I painted up uh, a lot of um, Reaper's uh, graveyard expansion from, I forget what Kickstarter, but it was one of the Kickstarters. And I got most of it done. 
Because a lot of those were simple pieces that I could do for mini a day challenge. But I can't do the obsidian crypt in one sitting. Let's see, Valfred said the first one I did 60%, the candles are three and three eighths an inch tall. Oh, okay, that's okay, that's pretty good. I just measured one. I had to cut the arms in half and print them because they would not fit on my 250 millimeter wide bed. So each arm we have attention. Oh, this is like a full size chandelier. Oh, I'm kind of jealous. That is so cool. <laughs> That will be an awesome decoration for Halloween. Now, admittedly, the only thing I might, not for Halloween, I'm, I don't need to get anything done early for that. The only thing I might do early for Christmas in terms of decorating is put my lights outside. I won't turn them on, I'll just put them outside. Because you know what, it's more fun to put them up when the weather's warm than when it's freezing. Okay. You know what? So be it. <laughs> I think it's cool enough. She should not kill you for that. I think she'd have more of a beef probably by how much money, you know, if you do spend, which I suspect, how much money we spend on our Reaper stuff. That's probably a far more kill-worthy uh, 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 offense. I'm very lucky, by the way. I have a husband who fully <laughs> enables me to buy, to drop way too much money on Reaper Kickstarters. And then again, last Kickstarter, I pretty much fully funded, or most of it, I fully funded myself. Uh, through my little, my little commission business. All right, I'm not, let's see, things I'm not, not too thrilled with. All right. Not too thrilled with this knee. I'm gonna make it look a little more like a knee. That is, ah, oh, it's another support. Supports look like hard to find. I told you, Reapers paint pokey tools are pretty good tools for other things. Although, if I can't get this, I'm gonna grab a knife. I have a knife right here. Sometimes, like in my case, it's a lot easier to find these things as I go. I'm pretty sure I actually took off a bunch of them, and these are just ones I missed. If I die, I worry she will sell everything for what I told her I bought. Oh. <laughs> yeah, everything you told her. Yeah, sure. That's fair. <laughs> no, my husband fully knows how much I've spent on. Well, the thing of it is, here's how I get away with it. I, I tell them I'm going to buy them a bunch of Cthulhu minis. Because Reaper will put Cthulhu stuff in every single one of their Kickstarters. So I make sure I always get the Cthulhu monsters. It's even better if I actually can find time to paint them. But originally, actually, the original reason why he told, well, actually said go ahead and do it. Because I remember the first Kickstarter, and I kept looking at that thing, and and I kept looking at it going, geez, there's a lot of minis in this. And then by the time it got to the last weekend, I still hadn't put in for it. But I'm like, I'm looking at going, damn, there's a lot of minis in this. And I run, I run miniature events at conventions. So, and at the time, I was also funding some of those, or one of those myself. And he just goes... For a hundred bucks, they usually spend, how many minis do you get? And I go, that's a great point. And then I, then I bought that one and I bought, been into every single one since.
So I said, I did the, like the, I think these are the fawn ears, but I liked them because if you think night elven ears tend to go down, I mean, they'd be a lot longer, but I do think, I will say this, I do think night elven ears are a little ridiculous looking on the, uh, just how huge they are. And you can't really do it. I wish, I wish, you know, I kind of wish they would maybe not necessarily get a license, but find a way around it and put some things in so we can make WoW characters on there. I'm gonna go back in. Take a little bit of my mixed purple. Of course, the thing of it is, Valfara. If, oh, you are still there. Okay. The thing of it is, you're dead. You won't even care how much you get for them. You can't. Sadly, we can't take them with us, can we? I'm gonna go in and line these fingers. I always like to line the fingers. Oh, I didn't quite get that one. I just wanted to know what happened to... Uh, uh, I'm trying to remember if they... Oh, I, you know, they did actually make, so recently they changed like the whole interface and they added a bunch of options. And I think they, they did make it so that you could, I don't know, there were some more different eyebrow options. I know the eyebrows are just, they're way out there. I still thought my night elf was cute though. When I made her, when I created her, I made her to be, I tried to make her so that, that's another thing, I think. There we go. I tried to make her so she was more cute. So I did, that's why I was like, your, your thing really maybe uh, th reminded me of, of her hair on that mini. Because you, um, you had like the short bob haircut and you painted her purple. And that's essentially what I did for the character was I gave her a bob haircut and made her purple. That's where the whole purple thing gets started, by the way. Was I did her hair purple and then I started, you know, collecting purple armor and purple mounts and I have a whole purple theme. And I realized I really do like purple. But that's probably where the obsession really gets started. And yes, I, it's going to say, and because I'm a night elf player, obviously, alliance all the way. And I'm sorry to anybody out there who might be watching this at some point or whatever that likes Horde. Sorry. I've played Horde. I did it just to see what the other side was like. And I like some of the other side. But you can keep Sylvanas. Of course, she's not really anybody's now. I gotta, I gotta finish. I, gotta, I haven't played in a while. I just haven't had time. Purple just rock. It does. Purple totally rocks. The inner set of hands a little harder to figure.
Then again, the underside of her hand is also more shattered. So that is, yeah, maybe not that shattered. Oh, we'll go back to my original draw nipple pink. Which still isn't pink. It's purple. So yeah, basically I am painting uh, for Dago, so let's see. From the trailer I saw, she looks to be head witch in charge. She just took out Arthas. As I said, I haven't played it in a bit. Um, I mean, she turned she turned my favorite prince, who became a king, into a fucking death knight. Well, actually, she didn't. The jailer did. But screw her. She burned down my freaking tree. <laughs> To start all this BS. Yeah, I do not. I didn't. It said it's sad. I played. I played. Um, I told you I did play Horde, because I wanted to see a bit of what what the other side was like and their viewpoints and such. And while a lot of it was fine, I felt kind of bad that they wished they had made her a more sympathetic character. But I did the quest where you return the necklace to her and she's total just terrible to you. And it's like, okay, fine. Be that way. So I guess there's no redeeming... There's no redeeming value to you. And then there was the whole Wrathgate thing and then, then she burned down my tree. <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry, I don't like her. She is a villain. The lady that voices her, I think, is, is really cool, though. Never really got in a row, play Warcraft up through three, and then stop where it turned to MMO. So that's only, I've only, I don't do really, I don't do get a real time strategy. I'm not, I am not very good at putting, pardon me while I put my knife back, I'm not really good at putting abilities together and things. It's just not my talent. Um, so as a result, I, uh, I'd rather play the MMO because I'm not good at I'm not good at the game. Well, the sad thing is I love the little graphics and and I love the thought of building things and such, but I'm just not good at it. Typically, too, this is why I've stayed away from war gaming. You know, like Warhammer. Because I'm just not good at it. But we'll find out. Maybe I'll get better at it. See, that's a thing. She is a hot villain. And I think that's why all of the, that's why um, anybody that digs her, they're into her for reasons other than the fact that she's a villain. Although, I mean, I appreciate her being a villain. I really do appreciate the, that I love to hate her. I think that that in some ways is good writing. They really made a character I love to hate. And I think anytime you can, as a writer, that you can invoke that kind of response. Ow, what the hell? Uh, anytime you can invoke that kind of response, you've, you've done your job. But I think I know a lot of people that do tend to fan boy or even girl or whatever. 
Um, I think they fa I think I can see the reasons why. <laughs> Cause she's hot. She's a strong, independent villain, and she don't need no anybody. back and try to give her a few details in her legs like I feel like she should have an I sort of feel like a paint there's a thing like paint pa paint plastic surgery is a thing I'm gonna leave that I kind of I like that. In general, for some reason, the bad guy is always cooler than the good guys, which is why I'm sad. <laughs> I think that depends. Sometimes that is definitely, oh, it's definitely true. The bad guys are cooler, but not all the time. I'd like to think the heroes I portray at the gaming table tend to be pretty cool. Cooler than the bad guys. All right, so. It's a good start. I'm gonna go back in here. And since this part is kind of away from the light. I'm gonna go back and re-darken this up a bit. Oh no, oh no, it's my GM from tomorrow night. Who oh, I have to get back to, because apparently, no, Cthulhu is not way cooler than Anja. Anja is the friggin' coolest. Don't you, don't you dare say that about her. Although when I was saying this, I was thinking, I was thinking Taryn, who I think is the coolest. <laughs> I mean, considering what happened to her, she friggin' saved the world with all of your help. No, 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 that's not true. But we all saved the world. And it was amazing. Uh, well, you know, we'll have to actually play that again, and I don't think she'd be the BBEG. She's just, it'd just be against one person, and I'm not really sure, so sure that he's not, I know he's supposedly not a bad guy, but, you know, considering his actions of the battle, I think he's a bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> so basically I mean you can always go watch it the episodes are up on our YouTube archive for uh, M uh, Murder Hobo Wink <laughs> she's not a villain not yet maybe not ever so basically what happened was we had a plan to infiltrate her, her actually it was her home city um, and her parents have been captured and put in jail because they're elves. <laughs> and, um, she told
told them all, you know, she told them. You know, the plan was supposedly bomb the gates, bomb the gates, be a distraction for us. You know, so we could get in and do what we needed to do. And the guy in charge of the op basically bombed the prison, killing everybody inside, including both of her parents, a lot of her friends, yada, yada, yada. So I don't think that necessarily makes him a good guy. <laughs> and what he's referring to is that I've mentioned that uh, she might be out for blood when it comes to that guy. Because she feels he's the bad guy. I'm not sure what that makes her. But uh, you have to convince Frank to run it. <laughs> to run some board. He needs to run some more plot. And Kyle, I still say we need to go. We, I still keep hoping you'll do a scenario in the library so I can go find a freaking prosthetic leg for her. Oh, she also lost her freaking leg, too, uh, due to unlucky dice rolls and uh, basically a retributive strike from a uh, exploding magic, uh, exploding artifact. I think I was about 15 points away from actually taking enough damage to die. And I mean, she's like, we're like ninth level. I think I'm going to go do this instead. Frank's runs nothing but plot these days. Cacophony is, I don't know, did, did I say cacophony's almost over. No, he does one shots. He still does. Did you watch last Thursdays? <laughs> I do not believe they blew up the box, did they? The box that showed up in the campaign that I was just talking about. We actually, the, there's, there's another campaign, which is Cacophony, where they have the same box. Two general, like a hundred years before the campaign we were in. I keep wondering if that's, I keep thinking that's not the same box, is it? And we were thinking it was the same box. And Frank, I thought, said it was the same box, but I think it got broken. So I'm trying to figure that one out. Okay. Oh, uh, let's see. I'm gonna, I wanna make a highlight. <coughs> So I'm going to take that uh, Wild Folk Gray, and this is one of, that's the color is highlighting her with. This is actually one of the new colors they just had at ReaperCon. In fact, I think it was one of the uh, M uh, VIP bag ones. I was wondering, oh my god, I so suck at this. I think it's this way. Let's see if I can do it right. That way you can see the number on it, although I guess it's an 8. There we go. I want to take that and I'll mix, mix a little uh, fair highlight because I want a little bit of a little bit of fair skin in there. So I uh, will say Anja is the coolest. I love my red-headed half-elven ranger. I know, I have to, I do have to get, so, I, you know, when I came up with that backstory, it was basically to leave you with all the dirty details about the cult. Spoilers. So you could use it however you wanted to. I didn't really think of things like the hierarchy. So this is my highlight color. So 
So are you excited? Is it assuming you're still here, Kyle? You excited to run tomorrow night? Because I'm excited to play. For sure. Well, I had a great time at ReaperCon. I did miss the game. And I wonder if we're getting our new player. No, you're such a liar. You are excited, I'm sure. I can't, I said, I can't wait to play. Although, you know what? I was thinking about it. I think I have some bad <laughs> news. I believe the weekend of like the, I think I want to say it's a, yeah, I can look it up. Um, calendar. October 20. Oh, that's what I'm looking at. Oh, no, it isn't. Oh, thank you, Gareth. Oh, maybe it's not that week. Oh, good. Maybe I don't. Maybe I won't be missing a, a session. Thank you so much, Gareth. So that's, oh my gosh, three months. Nine months away from getting a mini out of me. Um, so yeah, I thought, um, I was thinking that I was trying to go through the weeks and I thought that maybe during, um, the anime con I stuff at, I thought maybe that was a cred week, but I don't think it is looking at my schedule, which would be wonderful because I don't want to miss any more weeks of cred. I enjoy it too much and it's only every other week. Cred. So, Gareth, have you thought about, I mean, not that it's still nine months away, but have you thought about what you might like to have me do when I, when we get to that point and I have to actually paint you something? <laughs> because it's pretty clear you're going to do it. No idea. As I said, it could be something either that you have kicking around and want to commission me to do or it can be something that I have here that I'll just paint for you and send I will do it on stream too because why not then you can see what I'm doing moist <laughs> he found it This is the moist channel. Something tastefully, yeah. What? <laughs> Wait, I'm not gonna be able to paint that on Twitch. That's the problem. I can't paint, you can't, I, I, it's not a mature stream. I know something like language is not an issue on a, on a stream not mark mature but nudity is because I read the toss about what's considered mature and apparently a few bad words here and there aren't considered bad unless I didn't read it right and that's entirely possible Oh, 
well, it's all right, so they shouldn't. Well, you would think, but I think they do. I think you can't. Because I know, like, I know um, on Reaper Toolbox, Anna's had to hide some naughty bits and some minis she's worked. And she doesn't work on naughty minis on, on Reaper Toolbox, but I've noticed she's, she's definitely hidden things at times uh, from the stream. So she'll, she'll be working on a bus, so... No, I actually did this as more of a general audience stream. So you can stay, because, you know, you don't have to be mature to be here. And I know, well, I was going to say, that, you know, as I like to say on the Murder Hobo stream, mature audience is only because God knows we need someone to be an adult. Because it surely ain't any of us. I do not know why I'm using this rinky dinky little brush. Yeah, exactly. Lord, see, that's why I can't have it be a mature stream. Because, because we ain't. I'm a 50 year old teenager. I mean, oh my God. By the way, uh, Gareth, you, if you, we thought, you know, we're pretty bad on mortar stream with um, the double entendres and stuff. But I found something that won. That absolutely. So I was on Discord, as, as you might know. I know Gareth probably knows. Because I usually do, there's like a paint night uh, on one of the Discord channels I'm on. Where basically people said, well, most people just shoot the shit on there. Um, I, you know, some people share their, the, their cameras and their workspaces, uh, but most people are just in there talking and maybe painting, you know, but we wouldn't know because you can't see it. And one of the guys was having an issue with his airbrush and oh my God, it was just, it was so bad. So what the issue was, was the, I think the trigger was jammed. The needle, the needle was stuck. And so this was a suggestion that maybe he should use vegetable oil to free it. So he decided to try it. So, you know, there was a whole lot of vegetable oil uh, to help him. There was a whole lot of vegetable oil thrusting rubbing um do i need to say more it was so inappropriate we said i said he could have taken that whole conversation and put it on pornhub it was that bad so we have to step ours we gotta step it up a notch it was let me put it this way i was laughing so hard i woke my hut now admittedly my bedroom is right through the wall right over right over here but the doors are closed and it's not exactly a paper thin walls here and i was laughing so hard i woke him up and i'm like i'm so sorry honey i found out later i'm like well i'm so sorry but I, you must understand the circumstances of what i was laughing at and I just couldn't, I couldn't stop laughing. We figured that it would get him to a band on Twitch. It was such a bad conversation. But it was so good. It was so hilarious. We basically, I mean, every, it was every step of the way, too. The sad thing is there were only four of us left at that point. Uh, the guy who was, the guy, the guy who was, uh, you know, trying to fix the, uh, fix it, 
And it, by the way, vegetable oil worked. It totally worked to free, to free the trigger. So in case anybody's got an airbrush that's stuck and they, are, they don't have any other way of doing it, vegetable oil will work. Exactly. Well, they, they, they said lube a number of times. And every time I flip and snicker inside. Because I'm just that awful a person. Actually, if you actually the guy who was doing who had the uh, airbrush was the one that was streaming with me on Saturday, uh, Capmaster, and he is pretty friggin' hysterical. He is very funny. It's one of the reasons I was happy to to stream with him. Well, apparently the the funny part is he was so tired because he hadn't slept in like he hadn't slept in a while. Uh, apparently he forgot he doesn't remember <laughs> most of the stream and he's like I'm sorry I wasn't coherent I'm like you actually were very coherent which was amazing I asked him like three times before that stream are you sure you're okay to go on yes I'm fine okay But he's cool. And as I said, he's, he is really funny. So he made that experience even better. I think I'm liking this. Oh, uh, and Garrett, did you check out her eyes? This is what I learned in, this is what me and Jake learned in the class. Was to do eyes like this. Let's see if I can get this. Yeah, let me back it away. I don't know if you can see it that well. I might have to actually change the focus on my camera. Well, there will be pictures of it. If it's not that clear. There will definitely be pictures of this posted. Oh, uh, you like this. Speaking of, so here, here's a little side boob for you. She's, she's got a side boob showing. Although no nipple. Sorry. I assume I can say the word on here even if I can't show it. <laughs> Yay, side boobage. I'm just going back and smoothing out some of this stuff. We got what about another half hour to go? So we can lighten up the tops of her cheeks of hair. Chin. Moist. <laughs> oh my god, I want to talk so much about cred because Kyle's here. Because you have me so intrigued now. Ah, oh, you're gonna freaking go? Fine. I would love to talk to you more about this, but that's fine. I'll talk to you tomorrow. 
Actually, I will send you emails sooner than that. Once I have some time to figure out what you asked me for. This is the moistest channel around. Moist. <laughs> Hi, Brasha. Well, here's the thing. That's just like if you sub, I've got a moist emote too. Oh, that emote seems to make its way around and get used everywhere else but here. I had the wrong one. Voice but it's Sean saying it. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's right. Because I don't have the... I know. I wish I could record him saying it. Because he was so good. <laughs> what do you mean you don't know how to leave? At some point, by the way, Mr. Trombone Repairman, I'm uh, maybe I will get either I'm going to go look through my minis and find an Anja mini when that works. Or I'm going to order the one that I made in the same place I made this one in Hero Forge. And I will paint her on stream too. But that's not going to be for a bit because I've got plans. That's pretty good for the skin. Oh, I got to do lips. Hmm, what do I want to do for lips? Maybe I'll make them. Maybe I'll take that color I started out with. Oh, well, actually, I started out the really dark color with. Which is this Pathfinder Sagathy Purple. Let's see if I'm holding this right. I gotta wait for it to pop up. My stream is oftentimes ah, close enough. Maybe at some point I'll twist my camera around. Once <laughs> it all works right, maybe I'll make her lips this color. Should I figure out how I'm holding this? Lips are not my favorite things to do. It's not bad. I do like the color. I 
You may have to play with my camera. I feel like it's not focused very... I mean, it could be my eyesight. My eyesight's not great either. Yeah, I can see it. No, it's not too bad. These glasses certainly help. <laughs> That's it. Maybe in maybe in this version, maybe she should be half drow. I should have given her drow heritage. It's probably too late for that now, but that's fine. That's just her skin color. I don't think there's anything else on her face. Excuse me. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to go look for a little inspiration because I did her in Hero Forge. Um, I don't think it's one of my bookmarks. I will bring her up on screen once I find her. Of course, I'm not logged in. Thankfully, it's not hard to log in. Okay, heroes, there we go, I do have a color version of her, come on, there we go, so we can ignore the fact she's, I did her with just bare skin, but here's what she looks like. Wow, her lips, interesting. Her teeth kind of totally disappeared there. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna look like a total dweebus because I'm gonna put these on because I can't see well enough with these glasses on. So let's try this. some reason it filled in. I didn't think I primed it that bad. Unfortunately, that's not helping. <laughs> I may have to revisit that later. Because her face is very different. All right, nobody gets to see because I have it on display. <laughs> but anyways. Let me get off that. I'm going to have to look at that later and figure out what's going on with the sculpt. But otherwise, I like it. And I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do next. So what do I want to do next? I only have, I think at the time, I've got like a half hour left. Oh, I realize there's more skin height. Actually, there's more skin. This is why reference pictures are good. That's all her skin too, right there, and right here.
think I'm going to lighten up this little section here a little bit. Good thing I put this on. Let's see. Okay, so I don't think I'm missing anything in the back. Which is the front. She's got a belly button right there. Moist. <laughs> Michelle! I'm doing a little hot night elf action. How are, you, how are you tonight? Oh my God, I can't even talk. How are you tonight, Michelle? Get here, get here, uh, with a half hour left to go till we get to Garrett's dream. Did you have a busy day? Every day I do. Every day these days is a busy day. Although my work finally, finally has settled to a degree. So yay to that. Might be able to actually get some other little personal stuff done. <laughs> now I'm still busy at work. Fairly well, drawing Leslie's wish worked a bit more on. Oh, cool! Come to the I haven't even like thought about my Christmas cards yet. Uh, granted, I don't draw them, but I do. Um, for my personal Christmas cards, I do take a picture of me and hubby, aka Joe. And it doesn't have to be a Christmas picture either. And I make a card out of it. No, don't do that. So, I do have the picture. I think I'm going to use, so... We went to Salem Moist. a couple weeks ago. He was like, Garrett, this is back. We went to Salem a couple weeks ago, and we got a pretty good selfie. Because I did it as a selfie. Of him, of Hubby and I, uh, in front of a lighthouse. The lighthouse at Pickering Wharf. If I can... Just wanted to be a little lighter later. So I'm planning on using that picture. It came out pretty good. I'm getting more persnickety about pictures of myself. I look at my like oh I hate this picture. Well, 
Also, hey, hey, Gareth, I also found a belly button on this one. The side boob and belly button showing, so. Scandalous. So is that enough nudity for you? <laughs> Be like the old days when you it'd be like the old days when an ankle was scandalous that's it maybe I need to find a bunch of like really naughty minis and then run a like a mini painting after dark or something steal the Sophie says after dark name all right although really this character is not the type this character is not the type of character that she's supposed to be a bit more um, rambunctious and innocent and, and such Maybe a bit on the hyper side. So that's why I always would play her. Fun character. I really like this character. Back in the day, I was in a guild. I actually ended up running that guild. But I was in a guild where we would actually role play on guild chat. And it was, we had so much fun. So many good memories and moments. Once again, I'm going to hope Michelle can make it to Reapercon some year, because I know she'd have so much fun. But I learned to paint a new, I learned to paint my eyes differently. I'm really happy with the way they are, as I said. I know it's hard to see. I don't have this thing set on autofocus either, so, because I find it tends to bounce around when you're dealing with mini, so I kind of leave it in one place. I don't think it's clear enough to see the eyes real well. So that's the thing. I asked Gareth, so that's about the nudity and stuff. I asked Gareth what he, what he, what in not another nine months when he hits a, if he, if and when he hits a year of subscriptions, what he wanted me to do. <laughs> he's like, I have no idea. And I think he's, he did make the suggestion I should sit, paint something, you know, naked, you know, tastefully naked on here. I'm like, but it's not a mature stream. <laughs> I could temporarily make it a mature stream, I guess. I'd consider it. Then you really would have a reason to get moist at the uses at the pieces touch. No, that's what it's called at the painted hero tavern.
Also, Michelle, you would have loved the conversation. I was just telling, uh, telling them earlier. You would have loved the whole conversation we had on Discord the other night with, um, I do basically, I do a painting, like a Discord painting party on Monday nights. And uh, basically someone, someone needed to use vegetable oil to free his airbrush. And if you thought we were bad on Mr. Mortar stream, uh, Michael stream, uh, it was a whole lot worse. And I could not stop laughing. I was thinking Michelle would have been perfect. Exactly. You would have been so perfect in that stream. I mean, there was a lot of thrust. I remember there was thrusting and there was a lot of rubbing. <laughs> Pulling the trigger on that gun. You know, it's funny. It was, it was, in, uh, it, God, this has been some funny, funny. Of course, then of course you have Michael's stream last week. Wait, no, wait, it was Monday, wasn't it? Where he, where his paint splooged all over the place. <coughs> oh my God, that was, I was trying not to die laughing at work because it was so funny. What time is it? Okay, 15 minutes. What am I gonna do in 15 minutes? Like at that point that I'm not sure what, like there's plenty I can do next, but what can I do in 15 minutes? I think the skin is pretty much done. Or I'm gonna call it done. Yeah, actually I'm not gonna call it done. I'm gonna do one thing. I'm gonna, after looking at my little sample piece, I think I'm gonna take this little line out because it's not the way the anatomy is. Anatomy matters. Try to blend this in a little bit. That's better. <laughs> yeah, anatomy matters. I'm still, gonna, I'm still looking at her lips and thinking I'm going to fix that. Because she actually has like an open mouth. I definitely feel like I lost some details on this. She has a head, you know, I can, I can pick it out here. She has a headband here. Which is gold. Uh, let's see if I can figure out what's gold on my thing. Let's try. <laughs> let's try a little cursed gold. That's what I'll do in the last 15 minutes, 10 minutes, whatever. Don't get it started. So she has. Uh, I'm gonna go for the small brush. You know that? Yeah, I'll go for this one.
feel like for some reason a lot of details kind of got washed out on this. I mean, it's not heavily primed either, so I'm not really sure why. I'm just going to paint over this whole thing. There's a gem in the middle of this, but it does have gold around the outside. This gold is not covering very well. Definitely want to give her a bit of a headband because my actual wild character has a headband that's kind of like that. And she does actually have a headpiece that has like the antlers on it. Take a lighter gold. Where is it? Maybe down here. I have a million paints out right now because, of course, I do. I always seem to have a million paints out. And if I can remember, well, it looks like everything's away. Oh, no, never mind. There it is. Pirate gold. <laughs> I just look back at chat, man. Brush is saying, okay, bye-bye. Good luck with my drow nips. It's a fact she's not a drow. Because <laughs> I was using, oh yeah, Michelle, I was using drow nip or pur nipple purple on this character, or pink, which is really actually purple. Maybe that's the next question I'm going to ask Anne. Hey Anne, why the heck did you call draw a nipple pink pink when it's actually purple? Because most nipples are pink? Ah, uh, true. I mean, of course you were. That paint demands to be used on. And you know, the nice thing about it is you can actually buy it. Like, before you could only get it if you went to ReaperCon and you asked her about draw nipples. Not so much anymore. Now you can just buy it. Also, really like this. Uh, although I actually dig this this uh, pirate gold paint. I like the color of it. Well, that's one thing because of that gold headpiece. I don't have to worry about doing, um, I won't have to worry about doing, uh, eyebrows. I do want to try to get more eyebrows. Okay, Gareth, I will see you on the other side when we go over there. 
whoever comes. And maybe I will just leave her lips. I kind of like the way they look. I do like the way they look even now. I don't know if I want to go further down. <laughs> what the? Michelle! With or without help? <laughs> First of all, I, it, that's all I need to know is Gareth is going to the bathroom. I don't think I needed to know that. <laughs> well, it's like I'm reading the stream and I'm like, I might have missed something here. But if you actually read it, okay, quick bathroom break. I'll do a to see you soon with or without help. If you just read the stream, forget what I've said. Okay, Michelle, I'm sorry. I'm being... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> this is good. Hey, so people need... Never mind. I'm done. I'm sorry. I'm being a terrible, awful person. Ugh. That's bad, too, though. That's bad in good ways. That is... <laughs> See, this is why I wish you would, you, I wish you would show up earlier. I wish Rod would show up more often. And just, and Gareth, with all of your wonderfully delightful, inappropriate comments. Because they're awesome. Oh my gosh. You guys make me laugh so much on, on Michael, when you're all on Michael's stream. Basically, we're all trolling him. I almost feel, I almost feel bad. Because he's here he is, he's trying to do like a serious teaching stream, right? And we're all on there just screwing around and making him laugh and being generally disruptive. But I think I think what it is, I love his laugh. So he's got the best laugh. So I'm all for totally disrupting his stream and keeping it funny. So I think that's going to be good for now. Um, basically, yeah, your stream's going to start. Yeah, I suffered that. No, that's fair. The way to chat being a college. Oh, I didn't realize that. Oh, that's... <sighs> I get it, though. So he's going to work. So basically, he's working late, late. He's three hours behind us. So your dinner is like... Because it's like... For, I believe you're in my time zone, aren't you? Or are you... I said, I think you're in my time zone. I think you're just north of me. Oh, great. There's a... What the hell is that? There's a bug in here. Oh, I think it's a ladybug. Which, sad to say, poor thing, it's in here now. Not outside eating. Oh, those bugs to eat. Oh. Are you land? Okay, anyways. Yeah, you are. You're in my time zone. So, that is a very late dinner. <laughs> but I understand now, especially if he's going to, if he's, if his time, you know, if he's working three hours behind, you know, when everyone else is. I'll say it again. I hate time zones. I hate them with a passion. I wish we could all be on the same time zone, but don't work like that. All right. Let's go, Ray. He's on now. Well, I just saw the notification pop up. And believe me, I said, I totally get it. I mean, I wish, like, I said, I wish Michael was in our time zone, too, because, you know, I know you want to drop by here more often. But I never run at any, you know, any good times when he can. I'm tempted to run a stupidly late, late, late night stream for funsies. You know, so that I can have, you know, talk to some of my European friends. Uh, Alright, but anyways, thank you so much for being here. Uh, and 
Gareth Chris left, but I did thank him already for the subscription. And I hope you all have a lovely night. I'll be back on on Saturday to do some more work on her. Uh, Saturday at 12.30 Eastern p.m. And let's go raid Gareth. Oh, no. Why isn't it up here? Uh. There it is. Okay. I was trying to figure out why it wasn't popping in on my thing. And I got the notification he started. All right. Here we go. Have a good night. See what I can do here.
just move it more towards this side. I'm not going to see that on my screen. I'm not going to do that. Oh, there you go.
just got to be a way to do it.
I'm wondering.
just says that, that he got a fucking medal. Yeah, so I, that's what I wanted to, 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 to explain. You were, because you did something. You know, you can't not do anything. A lot of you.
That's a lot more than 12 hours.
Dobrý. multi-stream works, you know? Some of my other friends have used it. That's easy to use. I think the big thing is I gotta figure out how to make sound work. I wanna say... I wanna see if I can actually add in...
four people that do server the most. Kevin does, Gareth. Yeah, I'm probably gonna I'm gonna still do Gareth. We just read chat. Okay. Oops. Jesus, shut up, shit. Nah. I don't know. I don't have a relationship that we don't know.
Oh, it, it, it totally, ha oh, it, it totally fucking happened. And they did, and I survived because There wasn't anything about, yeah, there wasn't anything that it was, at least I don't think so. I mean, John didn't play always. And that totally, and that totally did happen to me. Um, they really did.
That's when I tell you, this the history oh it's black story, isn't it? Only like on the light though. I mean
Because one of the things like um, that murder hobo stuff and uh, yeah, I do realize I do need a drawer. Um, Another thing, I mean, these really like these, but they should have a place to put. 